Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've gotten through a lot of growth at the moment. You've, uh, you know, are setting down roots. You are extremely stable at this particular moment. You've got these really big trees here and, you know, they've got big trunks so they and, and probably big roots as well. So you've been, uh, you know, establishing yourself and you are on your path. Um, you know, you are getting there and there's a lot of growth that has come through for you. You are going through a period of frustration. So maybe things are not moving as fast as you'd like or maybe things are not going in the direction that you want. So you are overthinking it. Maybe you're worrying a bit too much. You've got the master card over here. So you are trying to make a decision over here. Uh, you know, you are considering or weighing your options and looking to the future and making some plans. In the past, you've got clarity coming in over here. So there's been some kind of choice that you had to make and you've been looking to the past to find answers to problems. Uh, you know, and you're stopping whatever the situation is. You're taking good hard looking at it, at it. You've got the stop, look and listen card. And you are looking for advice. You are asking people for advice and you are really weighing your options quite carefully. So you're trying to make some kind of big decision here um, and big plans. Uh, and you're really taking some time out maybe to just make these plans. Now coming up for you, there's a journey. So this could be a holiday. Or this could well be you taking some kind of business trip as well. Uh, and you've got the sexual attraction card. So if you're single, uh, it looks like there's some kind of new person coming into your arena. And maybe you'll be going out and out and socializing quite a bit soon. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to use the Pagan Waves Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled to this deck. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Princess of Cups. So it looks like there's some kind of offer coming in for you. There's been a lot of communication about this particular offer, and you've been speaking to a lot of people, maybe putting out your information. Quite, quite a lot of people have responded, it seems. So you've been getting a lot of messages. This cup is empty, so you're waiting for an offer to come in. And it looks like it is going to be coming in because you've got that knight in the background over there coming in with that offer. Uh, maybe an unexpected um turn of events coming in for you over here. Um, what you expected, she's got her back to this night, so she, you know, it's something that you didn't see coming really. But it is going to be there. So there's a new offer coming in for you and uh, you know, with the cups, there could be some learning, maybe it's a learning opportunity, but it is something that's going to make you really happy because the cups brings in that joy and satisfaction usually. You've got the strength card over here and it's crossed by the bounty. So the strength card is something that is ruled by Leo. So it's you taking control of a situation, uh, you know, using all your skills. So you're going to have to be very cunning. You're going to have to use a lot of strength of character. You're going to have to be very bold. It's something big that's coming your way and you have to stand your ground, uh, you know, and cut out that confusion. Um, you know, uh, don't uh, let doubts and fears uh, um, make that situation you know, um, into something worse. So it's you taking control of any obstacles or challenges and uh, being in control. Now you've got the Six of Pentacles over here. So there's some new money coming in for you. Um, you know, they say with this card, the bounty comes in, but there's some strings attached. So you might have to work extra hard or you might have to do something, make some kind of sacrifice in order for this money to come in, but it's definitely coming in. So whatever this offer is, there might be a string, a strings attached to this offer, but it's definitely going to bring in a lot more finances. For you. Now you've got the Seven of Swords. So you were dealing with a situation that was really um, deceptive. Uh, it looks like there was lies, deceit, uh, people backstabbing, uh, you know, gossip going on, uh, you know, a lot of drama. You've got a lot of red sky over there um, and, you know, people pretending that they were stable or supportive and not really being supportive. There could have been loss or theft on your side as well. 
you've got the Eight of Pentacles. You've been very, very focused on your work over here. You've got the skill card over here. So you're very much, and doing a lot of study. There's a lot of books as well. And this is the thing, you know, to further your career and bring a lot more money. So maybe the work seemed to be a little bit mundane, but you have been learning a lot and you've been applying all your skills to your work and getting a lot of inspiration. And maybe this is the reason why this new offer is going to bring in this money because you are very, very skilled at what you do at the moment. So whatever situation you're going through, you're trying to call it a truce. You're trying to get some kind of um, support going on. So with the Four of Swords, you know, it's generally taking some time out to get some strategy in order uh, and discussing it with people. So you're getting some ideas from people around you, some kind of support. Now you could be dealing with legal issues as well and trying to get some kind of legal input as well. Uh, but this is on your mind. So this is what you're focusing at the moment on. Now, going into the future, it looks like you're going to be ending this old job that you're going through, uh, you've been working in, and you're going to be moving on. Uh, with the Tradition card, the Ten of Pentacles, it's also about, um, you know, receiving some kind of payoff, some kind of settlement coming in as well. This could also be, a, be about an inheritance coming in as well. So there's some kind of family issue going on as well around you. So this could be the fight that is going on. Uh, maybe this is why there's been so much of lies and deceit and there's some legalities involved. Uh, but there could also be some issues going on about um, inheritance or some family issues going on as well. Like I said, there's some kind of payoff going, uh, coming to you, but there could be some kind of tie, some kind of um, uh, strings attached to that. Now, you're trying to manifest a new job over here. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So you are going out and putting out feelers. Like I said, with this Ace of, uh, with this Princess of Cups, she's got the Ace of Cups in her hands. And this is the Ace of Pentacles. So you are trying to find, uh, manifest new money, new jobs, uh, a new opportunity for yourself. So that's what you're working on. Now, what's going on around you? There's the Two of Cups. So, uh, you know, in your personal life, this could be a card about your personal life. You've got that support uh, that you need. This could be a very good friend, this could be a love relationship, but there's somebody there that is very, very supportive and understands you pretty well. Um, you know, this could be even a new business relationship. Maybe this new job is going to bring in uh, a new relationship as well if you're a single person. But all in all, you're getting that support from the people around you. Now, you've got the Nine of Wands, so you are hanging in there. Resilience, you know, you're, you're giving it all you've got. You're pretty tired. You want to break from all the fighting. There seems to be in a lot of battles that you've got gone through. It's You're feeling very, very disempowered right now. You are standing your ground. You've got that strength card about standing your ground, standing up for yourself as well. So you are a force to be reckoned with at, at the moment. Um, but, you know, maybe you're worried that you don't have enough energy or strength to continue this battle and you want it all to end. So going into the future, you've got the Knowledge card, uh, the Elder, and the Moon. Now, the Knowledge card is about some kind of legal information coming in. Uh, I, that's how I read it anyway. It's about something official, something legal. That news is coming in pretty quickly for you. So a decision being made. So if it was a legal battle that you're dealing with, it looks like a decision is going to make. And it looks like with that decision, it's going to be a payoff that comes in, some kind of inheritance or some kind of money that comes in uh, with that payoff. You've got the elder and you've got the hierophant looking at it. Now, the hierophant can be read as, uh, you know, uh, somebody that, uh, a commitment card. But sometimes it, it's also being read as a, a decision, a legal decision being made. In some decks, it is about uh, a legal court decision being made. So I, it looks like there is going to be some kind of decision that is going to be made. Uh, and, you know, because it's about money, it's ruled by Taurus, it looks like there is some kind of payout that comes in as well. Um, in your work situation, it could be also that you are you are going to be doing some kind of job that requires further study or further education as well, further research, because you've got that owl coming in over here. So it looks like you know on the whole there is some kind of legal decision that makes that goes in your favor, and it looks like money will come in with that. Now right now you are feeling a bit depressed, a bit confused. Maybe things have not been revealed. There's some hidden secrets. Watch out for hidden enemies with this card. So don't trust everybody, anybody. The hierophant also advises you get proper legal advice as well in this kind of situation there's no clarity here at the moment with the moon like I said the moon has is a card that lies a lot so there's a lot of hidden enemies so get some kind of legal uh, advice make sure that you are well supported legally before you deal with any kind of issue whatever this knight of uh, swords brings in whatever information it looks like information is definitely coming. You've got an owl on the Hierophant card, and this is the card of knowledge, an owl coming to you. So there's information coming pretty quickly. You're going to have to really uh, look into it, 
go through it very, very carefully uh, and, um, and then act upon it. Uh, and you might need to get some supplementary uh, advice that you can trust uh, because of the moon card talking about legal enemies and, you know, deception. So, you know, just worry, uh, watch out that people don't pull the wool over your eyes in whatever the legal situation is, that you're getting proper advice and that you're well supported legally before making any kind of decision. But it looks all in all like there is some kind of money coming in for you, some kind of payoff. So... I'm going to just draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot, and this is the uh, Oracle Read. And the first card is the Ace of Summer, so there's that, some kind of opportunity coming. And it says, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or uh, spiritual epiphanies. Now, the Ace of Sword, um, the Ace of Summer is like the Ace of Cups, so this could be, uh, you know, a brand new opportunity coming in, because this woman is waiting over here with that Ace of Cups, and it looks like, you know, you're getting the Ace of Cups. So something is going to be very fulfilling uh, that comes your way. It could be in the form of news like I said it could be even in the form of further study but something that comes in that's going it could even be an apology but something that it comes in we've got the dove uh, coming in over there so something coming in that's going to make you pretty pretty satisfied uh, give you that emotional satisfaction and bring in a new beginning you've got the prince of autumn over here so cautious but wise action meticulous attention to detail and kindness of others so with this prince of autumn and you know you've got this um, knight of swords over here the knowledge card make sure that you, before you are doing anything that involves money the prince of autumn is like the prince of um, it's like the knight of uh, pentacles so whatever issues that you have with money that you are paying close attention to the details so the devil is in the details they say so make sure that you're reading everything read the fine print every um, quite carefully and if you don't understand anything that is going on in it make sure you ask questions the prince of autumn also shows about talks about working very hard and achieving goals financially as well and it also brings in money so there's money coming in but make sure you're reading all the fine print the star card says look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains and happy changes that bring a relief from challenging times so things are going to are starting to look up there looks like there's a change in direction for you and things are going to start moving in a very positive way it looks like the universe is guiding you and giving you what you need in order for you to be successful so i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye